A review of the chaos at Wembley during the Euro 2020 final has found that there were a number of very near misses that could have led to fans being killed. Well, the match between England and Italy was marred by ugly scenes as 2,000 supporters without tickets forced their way into the stadium. We can go live now to Wembley and speak to our sports correspondent, Tom Palmer. Ian, this should have been one of the greatest moments in English football since 1966 and that World Cup victory. And while on the pitch they came so close to winning the Euro final against Italy, of course losing out on penalties, you can't escape the debacle that was happening in and around the stadium around that event. And this review by Baroness Casey that has looked close up at the trouble that occurred outside the game has concluded that there was a perfect storm of lawlessness and that around 2,000 ticketless fans managed to storm the entrances at Wembley and get in, uh, which created an incredibly dangerous situation for them and other supporters. And she says that it is very fortunate that nobody lost their lives or suffered very serious injuries. 17 breaches of the Wembley gates were recorded at different parts of the stadium. And there was chaotic violence that was fuelled by drink and drugs. One of the fans who contributed to this review said, people were taking cocaine in front of us and smoking drugs behind us. My son cried for most of the game. Now, the authorities just didn't anticipate the levels of drunkenness, of violence that occurred outside on Wembley Way and in the other areas around the stadium. And... That is a major failing on behalf of the police who didn't have enough numbers there, the stewarding operation and the security around Wembley. It failed. And this is a report laying bare that failure, a failure to anticipate a situation which you could really see coming. A lot of people could uh, predict, given what had happened in earlier games in the tournament, given the fact we'd just come out of the lockdowns associated with COVID-19, given the fact this was a home major final taking place at Wembley it was so easy for people just to turn up, try and jib their way in. That is the phrase that football fans use, jibbing their way into the final, getting in without a ticket. But 2,000 of them managed to get in. And the report also highlights that at the end of the game, there were 6,000 fans outside Wembley trying, waiting for a win in that penalty shootout to get in and storm the stadium. So there could have been far worse problems that night than there were, and that is laid bare in this report. The FA have welcomed the report and have said in a statement from their chief executive, Mark Bullingham, the FA apologises for the terrible experience that many suffered within Wembley on what should have been a historic night for the game. Everyone at the FA was appalled at the significant levels of crowd disorder throughout the day on the 11th of July. The review makes clear that the circumstances leading up to the match led to a perfect storm of lawlessness. So in short, this was a shameful episode that many people thought had been consigned to the dark days of English football in the 70s and 80s, but it reared its head around this final, uh, England versus Italy, on the 11th of July. And this report will make quite difficult reading for the football authorities. And also, of course, it will be read by FIFA, who are deciding whether or not the UK and Ireland should be awarded a World Cup bid in 2030. That's still in the preliminary stages of going ahead as a bid. But you read this and you think, why would they? And that is of great frustration to the many, many England fans who support their team in the right way. And of course, the England players and Gareth Southgate, who did such an amazing job on the pitch, let down by a small minority of drunken, a horde of yobs. That's how this report explains just what happened at Wembley and why it really matters, because people could have lost their lives.